Hi everyone, this is Brian Buckaloo from Provision Studios, and I'm here to um, show an option for mastering. Um, question was asked, uh, what do I uh, do for mastering in Pro Tools? And I'll be honest with you, I don't. I don't master in Pro Tools. Um, I know I did a video uh, here recently showing you how you could master in Pro Tools, but that is not the program that I prefer to work in when it comes to mastering. I strictly use Pro Tools for um, uh, recording and mixing down um, projects that I work on. But my go-to program for mastering is Studio One. I found that um, the Studio One project uh, page is the... Uh, best way, in my opinion, to um, put together a multi-track project or even just a song. And here you'll see what I've got here is I actually have a 17-song live album that I recorded for a band. Uh, it was recorded live on site, brought the whole session into um, in individual tracks. I had uh, They were a bass, guitar, drum, piano, and accordion. Um, each one was uh, uh, was mic'd up individually. Brought all the tracks into Pro Tools. Uh, mixed it down for them to their satisfaction. Um, uh, bounced it all down to individual clips. And imported each one here into uh, Personas' Studio One. And then um, added uh, my mastering. And recorded a uh, uh, a, uh, a CD that I sent off to disc makers uh, to be uh, pressed uh, for their for them to sell. The reason why I like a Personas for this uh, the step um, the mastering specifically is all of the options it gets you to, uh, that allows you to do when you're done working. Um, you can see here you can burn it. So if I hit the burn button, it's going to allow me to, if I had a CD in my in my drive, it's going to allow me to burn an audio CD. So I can make a copy, hand it off, and say, okay, here's a copy of your CD. What do you think? Also gives you ability, the ability to make an image. Um, if you don't, let's say you don't have a, a, a CD handy, um, or you want to burn it onto a separate drive, a uh, 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 optical drive this would allow you to do that there you can set your resolutions and all you can even make an mp3 disc if you want or an mp3 image if you wanted it also allows you to do a digital release which is awesome you can see right here it actually has all those all the tracks you can say oh I don't want this one that one or, or this one I just want you know those that are selected you can add track numbers artist name um, you can publish it right to uh, SoundCloud, SoundCloud, and again, you can control the type of file. You can do a wave release, MP3 again, with a 320, uh, which is what I prefer, a bit rate, or whatever, whatever you want to do. That's the good part about uh, this doing it here um, in Personas Studio One is uh, the, the functionality you get. And also, like I said, you have the ability to master in it. Um, you can browse for effects right here on the browser window. You can see you can drag and drop right into these lanes. I don't need that really. I just wanted to show you. Um, you can also add uh, effects to separate tracks. You can see each one, I have a multi-band dynamic on each track. Anyway, the whole point of this is the question was asked of me, how do I master and what do I use to master with? I use Ozone in Studio One uh, exclusively. This always works for me. I get great results, and I haven't really found anyone to say uh, your mastering is lacking. 
Um, you can see that other video if you would like to see some of my concepts. I used the same concepts in that previous video that I uh, did here. Um, I move my EQ2 to the, to, the, to the end. This is where it normally is when you first open up uh, 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 isotope ozone. I just move it to the end. I always roll off my low and high end with high pass and low pass filters. I uh, here because it was a live CD. I cut out some of my mid, right about 400 at two and a half decibel, and I added one about a decibel at at the top end of 16,000 hertz. Added a little bit of reverb, some harmonic excitation. Did my dynamics the same where I go at a 2 to 1 ratio on all four bands. Added some stereo imaging and, and did negative stereo imaging on my bass because I want to tighten my low end. Obviously, I already showed you the post. And had my maximizer. Notice I have my dithering off. I do not dither at this stage. I do, I because I the reason for it is that dithering is the last thing you do, and I still have intentions of doing more to uh, my uh, project other than with ozone. Next thing I do is I have a post feature in Studio One, which is where I that's where I add uh, Studio One's limiter. And I put that at a negative 0.3 decibel and at soft clip. And then finally, I after it, I go and I uh, uh, put in another instance of uh, the Ozone 5 maximizer only. I don't put the whole uh, uh, Ozone uh, isotope suite. I put just the Ozone 5 maximizer in. And this is where I put in my dithering. I can see I put my uh, my dip my bit depth at 15, uh, and I have high noise shaping. And uh, that's really it. That's how I do my um, mastering. Uh, like I said, I, I in the last video I showed it in Pro Tools just to give you an idea of, of that you can do it in Pro Tools. I just prefer to work this way because when I'm done, I can go right to CD. Let me close this one and show you how you could also do it for just one song. If you just wanted to master one song, this is a single track I dragged in. This is a cover version of um, Christmas Eve Sarajevo that I did. You can see I basically uh, uh, followed the same rule. I have Ozone 5. I have another maximizer here that I put on it just to give it a little bit more lift, a little bit more power. Um, I put the, another limiter here, the uh, Personas limiter followed by the Ozone 5 Maximizer again and this one really is just there for dithering I, I do have the threshold set to an, an additional negative one and a half which will give it a little bit more punch but I really this final Maximizer that I put in the post section of uh, uh, Studio One I normally just use it just to put that dithering at the end I prefer the Ozone 5's dither over most others because of its quality that uh, of dithering that that it gives you, it it is a high end dither that you really don't get from most other plugins, and that's why I uh, instantiate another uh, an, another one of it here later on, uh, and I don't put it here on my in my master inserts. I I leave that dither off. Because I, I, you save your dithering till the end. That's the last thing you want to, to, to be done. And that's it. That is how I master uh, any, any song or any project that I do. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, email me at brianbuckaloo at yahoo.com. B-R-I-A-N-B-U-C-K-A-L-E-W at yahoo.com or you can contact me uh, uh, 
um, on my website, which is provisionstudios.com, P-R-O-V-I-Z-I-O-N-S-T-U-D-I-O-S.com, or you can comment to this video uh, uh, down below. Thank you very much, and Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year.